around you right now okay or this is sudden job loss or this could be even a new position in a job okay all of a sudden which is creating chaos in your life because you just all of a sudden have to have a lot of increase in responsibilities all right this is uh, something from the outside environment which is affecting you okay this could be a new boss or okay a loss of colleague but this is disasters okay happening in the workplace this is not to do with you this is something that's happening in your external environment which is causing a lot of stress to you just remember uh, these things are frustrating i get it um, just give me a second guys sorry so yeah like i was saying right this uh, things can be frustrating for you right now okay but i think it's very important for you to remember that even if things are so bad right now there is a possibility with the tower here okay that this it's a temporary mess okay this just had to happen okay this is a shake up all right but the tower is usually a good thing i'd say it's always a good thing okay because it comes in to shake up anything that has a very um, a very rocky foundation or something that does not have anything concrete to hold on to okay or this is just an epiphany or kind of a realization to just completely literally shake you up all right so just understand maybe this is something you know that is uh, better for your long term future okay if that's how you take it it would be better for you all right maybe it's just going leading to to leading you to a more peaceful workplace in the long term okay or a job that better suits you in the past we have the ace of wands in reverse so i'm feeling a lack of inspiration uh this lack can it, it can definitely be manifested in a lot of ways okay so you might be having a hard time brainstorming in the past okay or you probably your career required a lot of creativity and you probably were getting drained out of ideas okay and this lack of creativity was making it very difficult for you to start new jobs or uh, new projects it could have been very unfortunate okay because i think you could have been very prone to frustration also okay or a lack of progress yeah um this is a lot of stalling of progress also okay probably things would start quickly and quickly okay your motivation your uh, passion would start very quickly with something but because there would be so many road bumps it would uh, just mellow down quickly okay it would just completely uh, um fall out but um i'm i'm getting you're getting you you were getting extremely impatient with both your inspiration also and your career path all right but you need to cool it okay you need to cool it this is uh just the, 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 this energy is a very very uncommon okay it's very inescapable also and it's very uh, i mean it's very uncommon uh, i mean it's nothing uncommon sorry it's nothing uncommon and it's very inescapable okay you just have to go through it everyone goes through it okay so just try you could have i don't know if you did this but you could have tried and you know treated yourself with some little, little bit of kindness okay like they say right you talk to yourself gently you talk to yourself in a way that you want other people to talk to you okay the more you could have been very very harsh on yourself is also what i'm hearing okay so um just do things that tend to inspire you okay whenever possible i mean this could be something that you're very used to because you want probably things to rush very fast and you probably want the projects to start very very quickly okay because that's the kind of passion that you have but things don't really go our way always right In the present, we have the King of Pentacles in reverse. This is telling me that there is a lot of instability right now. Okay, when it comes to your work, all right. So um, could be because in the past year again, this is also kind of instability. Okay, where you are very very inspired to you have a lot of ideas, but things just don't don't get rolling. Okay. So this is a lot of instability at work. I feel that you could be either very unsuccessful with some work projects or worst. worst this could also be you closing a business if you're in a business or you close this is a loss of a job okay for the tower here could be either you're losing a job or this is just created a lot of instability because of whatever has chaos and uh, destruction has been created from the outside So um yeah so with the instability at work that I said right again losing a job or uh, closing a business like I said I'm also getting you could be really really tired of your job okay and this is um highly affecting the quality of your work okay as your motivation is dropping here this could be one of the reasons why your motivation is also dropping uh this could also be a ruthless person okay someone who's around you in your environment okay who's probably trying to discourage you okay or who's 
absolutely undermining you. Could be, doesn't have to be, okay? But if this is, then just ignore this person's negativity. You can just focus on what you have to. Again, this could be someone or this could again be you who's engaging in something very selfish, okay? You're being very selfish, very greedy and trying to manipulate people, okay? Which is, um, I mean, not really fair, but if this is you, then this could also be someone in your environment, okay? I have to say it both ways. Take it how it resonates. I think this should be the time that you concentrate on your own career and do your best, all right? If you've been looking for a promotion or a raise, I don't think you're ready yet, okay? You will still need some more experience before you get there. So, yeah. In your near future, we have the Hierophant in reverse here. So, I'm feeling that your creativity, your achievement, or your freedom at your workplace, okay? This could all feel very, very suppressed, either by, bureaucr by bureaucracy, uh, by the processes or the rules that are laid out in the institution that you're working for, or this could just be you, okay, who's wanting to do things out of the box. You're wanting to try and way, make new ways of money, or you're trying to break the status quo, and you're trying to do things out of the grain. You're trying to push yourself against the grain right now, okay? But yeah, you. Uh, if this is not that, then this is you probably feeling very restricted and confined at the current job that you're at, okay? You know, like if you had the options, you know, you may have been able to solve many of your organization's problems okay but i think there may be someone very very stubborn who wants to keep things done their way it's like my way or the highway is what i'm getting um but when you're going through this kind of energy okay um i hate to say this but in order to get things done okay you will have to engage in smothering up your colleagues all right or even your boss because this is someone very very stubborn okay this is not going to be someone who's going to crack under pressure and there may be a lot of pressure for you to follow the organization's decisions, okay? Even when you have a completely different opinion. So, okay, okay, yeah. So, what I'm getting is either this is the kind of institution that you're working for and you're getting frustrated, you're feeling very stifled, your creativity is getting suppressed, all right? Or you could just be wanting to be your boss is what I'm getting, okay? And you're probably right now at this phase in the near future, uh, this is what you're going to feel in the institution or this could just be you in the future weighing out the risks of going out on your own, wanting to be your own boss, starting your own business because this work environment is just completely stifling you. Yeah. I'm getting more like you could have tried in the past many times with Ace of Wands here. You could have tried to open your own business but probably things just didn't work out, okay? Because um, you could have, this is someone very, very stubborn also at the same time, okay? So you could be dealing with someone, someone, this could be you also, your approach towards work, being very, very stubborn, selfish, greedy, whatever, right? But yeah, you're trying to break, you, you, you don't want to follow the rule book if this is you, okay? This is how you view yourself, five of swords. Again, now this can have two meanings again, very contradictory, all right? I think there are conflicts that are erupting at your work, all right? Um... And there's like a considerable amount of hostility in the environment, okay? Very unfriendliness, very cold behavior. You could be exploding into arguments, okay? Due to misunderstandings, lack of communication, or even very defensive behavior, okay? Now, defensive behavior is as such, which, you know, usually creates a cycle of aggression, okay? It's it's all about the way you view your environment, okay? It's all about the way you, you see things, okay? So, be very, very clear about your own actions and how this affects the environment, okay? So, this could be you who's watching the environment as where well. you, feel, you feel the need to stand up for yourself, you feel the need to guard yourself, you feel the need to, you know... Um, you know, it's like a very cutthroat business or a very cutthroat career where everyone's like literally wanting to kill each other and climbing on each other's shoulder, okay? Maybe that's how you view the situation and that's creating that cycle of aggression in you, okay? And that's why your aggressive approach is creating a lot of arguments within your environment, okay? Again, okay, could be lack of communication. Five of Swords is a big, huge, serious conflict, but the biggest reason out here is lack of communication, okay? Hot and cold communication, ego, a lot of ego, okay? Pride, ego, etc. So be very careful about that, okay? Again, if not, if not, okay, then this is you probably getting yourself into that self-victimizing victimizing mode, okay? Again, it's all about the way you view the situation from your side. Bullying, intimidation, maybe you feel the need to do this or someone's doing this to you, okay? But uh, whether this is you or, the, or anyone else, okay, you're going to have to stand up for yourself, okay? 
for someone else. It can be. Maybe you're trying to protect other people also. Try to even protect yourself. Okay, again, the way you're looking at things. Um, if you need to put up a fight or whatever, it can be very tempting right now with the situation here. Okay, but just make sure that you handle the matter very, very professionally right now. Okay, because you're in the mood to fight. All right. So yeah, just don't be afraid to get the HR inside, okay? I mean, processes usually are in place to handle these situations, okay? But the advice would be not to go and take situations head on, okay? Don't. Just try and involve the company to this, the, uh, the, the institution within this, okay? They have their rules, regulations. You don't need to go ahead and get into something so aggressive. Your surrounding energy, we have the Queen of Cups in, Queen of Cups in reverse. Sure. So, <clears throat> you're not taking the time to take care of your own emotional health, right off the bat is what I'm hearing. You're not taking care of your own health, your emotional health is what I'm saying. You're probably dealing with some emotional issues at work, you're not happy, and you may even find that the projects that you're working on, or the environment that you're in, right, it's emotionally draining you out. Okay, sometimes this exhaustion that we feel, right, it comes from our own needs which are not being met. So your needs are not being met. You're feeling emotionally drained, emotionally unfulfilled, and you're still working there only probably because of the financial stability. You're probably, it could also be that you're so focused on the needs of others, okay, and it's getting very difficult for you to put your needs as a priority also, okay. Maybe you're making your focus, uh, your, your colleagues, your clients, or you're trying to make your boss happy, okay, and you've literally neglected doing what makes you happy. The Hierophant in reverse. An institution that has a lot of rules where I said that you may even have to, uh, you know, you'll have to do a little chumming up of um, your colleagues or your boss, okay, in order to get things your way. And that's what's training you. You're, you're probably being forced to do things that just are very, very um, different from the way you would do things or different from the way you believe things should be done, okay. And that's one of the things that's training you out. This is in your emotions with a page of swords in reverse here. I feel that you have a lot of energy. This is your hopes and fears, but your emotions overall, okay? You have a lot of energy, okay, and curiosity, okay? But right now, I feel it's not really being directed at anything in particular. Right. All right, so like I said, uh, in your emotions, I'm feeling that you have a lot of energy, a lot of curiosity, but right now, your energy is not being directed at anything, okay? You're feeling very stuck, stagnant, but it's just a lot of frustration also, all right? Same, almost similar to Ace of Wands and Divorce, okay? You have a lot of ideas, you had a lot of passion, you wanted to start something new, okay? But you didn't have the direction to do it, or you just didn't take action towards it, okay? You were lacking the drive. The same way, this is in your thoughts, okay, with the swords here, okay? You don't have an outlet, okay? It seems like you can't either make up your mind about what you actually want to do for your future, okay? Probably you're moving from one job to another, you're doing a lot of job hopping, okay? Uh, and uh, so every single time you get bored, okay, you want to uh, you, you, you hop a job, hop to the next job, okay? But again, you're still not deciding what's good for you. If I literally get to the depth, uh, to this, you know, it's like uh, you need to get in the depth and experience of working somewhere, okay? You need to, I mean, you need to commit to something a little longer, okay? Alright. Gemini, did you realize something? I mean, I don't think you would, but I stopped like four to five times in your reading, so imagine how many roadblocks are there, okay, in order for you to achieve something that you're wanting to achieve your goals. Like, literally, five times I had to pause the video, alright? This is literally the Ace of Wands in reverse. Literally. And the page of swords in reverse, okay? So yeah, again, uh, what I'm getting here is that uh, commit to things something for a little longer time, okay? Don't just like, you know, you put in a little bit of effort, you don't see the results, you're probably looking for instant gratification. You don't get it, you start switching to another job, or then you're just confused, okay? It's like, no, I don't want this, I don't want that. You need to be committed for a little longer time in order for you to know if this is the right thing for you or not, okay? Also, I think you are having a lot of big ideas, okay? But... Uh, there's no follow-up there's no follow-up okay you can have a lot of big ideas but again this is zero follow-up all right so try and do that and uh like i always say right without action nothing comes to fruition nothing so this is all talk no action also okay this is in your emotions so yeah get working 
all right could be office gossip also around you or someone who's rude around you who uses a lot of hurtful words ignore this person okay Your likely outcome we have is the four of wands okay that's like a huge surprise for me okay i mean this is i mean four of wands after going through all this shit what okay so this definitely tells me that you know what that in the near future you could be experiencing a little bit of hardship but in the long run i think you're going to be okay four of wands yes it's not it is a happy card okay but again this doesn't have to do with abundance wealth okay this is not money this is nothing but this is definitely something stable okay this card calls for something stable and social okay so there is this st stability and supportive relationships around you okay um this is also possibility that you may have made new friends at work okay or the atmosphere that has been there around you okay it's going to be very very positive in the near future as a likely outcome sorry there may be some work parties some work gatherings office parties okay the in the future that's going to bring your relationship very closer to your colleagues okay or the people you work with and uh, again if there are any events like that it's just going to result into closer bonds between you and your colleagues the other thing that i would also like to uh, point out is that this could also be a house that you're going to bring you're going to buy a house in the near future okay but this is not something that you're getting through uh, means like rent or government okay this is your own hard and money and you're going to be ready or you are going to be capable enough to buy a house on your own okay um i mean it takes a substantial amount of money to be able to afford a home right so yeah this is good news all right but uh, otherwise it also implies that your career is going to be successful enough okay that you are going to be able to achieve purchase your own home okay for others of you the third option that i'm getting here is that there could be an opportunity for a lot of you to work from home okay if you did not have the chance to work at home from I amitel mean, now you're going to have it as the likely outcome in the near future okay so that's what i have for you gemini is okay too many roadblocks i was uh, blocked and i was um, interrupted a lot of times in your reading okay so make sure that you clear those blocks meditate have positive affirmations and i think you're good to go all right that's what i have for you gemini i hope this reading resonates with you leave your comments below like share subscribe and i will see you next time bye bye